Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll be making kononzaki. Kononzaki is a popular drink in the northern part of Nigeria. This drink is so nutritious, it is nourishing and refreshing. It is made out of guinea corn, millet and other spices that are as well beneficial to the health. So if you'd like to see the making process, then please stay tuned and keep watching. These are all the ingredients required for this kono drink. So first I'll start by introducing my guinea corn. There are two types of guinea corn, the white and the red one. And so for this recipe, I'll be making use of the white guinea corn. And here is a closer look of what it looks like. So in here we have some millet and we're gonna be combining the both together, both the guinea corn and millet. Here is a closer look of what it looks like as well. Now to make kuno drink, you can use only guinea corn or millet, but combining these two grains together makes this drink even more nutritious. Next here, we've got some dried sweet potatoes. And over here, I've got some dried germinated rice, also known as tiro in Hausa. This is what it looks like as well. So from what I had, the tiro, which is the germinated rice, usually makes the kunu drink not to be too thick in consistency. And so next here, we have some dried ginger. For this recipe, you can use fresh ginger or fresh sweet potatoes, but traditionally, it is usually made with dried ginger and dried sweet potato. And next here, we have some cloves. This will add a very nice um, flavor and taste to the kono drink. So to begin, we're going to start by washing the guinea corn and millet. So earlier, what I did was to go through the grains just to make sure um, there are no sand. <laughs> so before washing, you have to go through the grains, take out any unwanted stuffs such as sand, um, wood. Sometimes you get to see like material. So you have to go through it and, you know, get all those unwanted stuff out. So now I'm just going to be giving this a good, good wash for about maybe three or four times thereabouts. I'll also do the same with the spices, so I'm going to be giving them a good, good rinse. So I've just added the dried ginger, the tiro, which is the germinated rice, the sweet potato, which is the dankali, and the cloves, which is also known as kanampari. I'm going to go ahead now and give them a good, good rinse. Now that I have everything nicely rinsed, I'll let them soak for between eight to 10 hours. That way it's easier for my blender to blend. So this is after about 10 hours later, I have gone ahead to give the guinea corn and millet a good, good rinse. And so now we're going to be moving over to the next step, which is the blending um, process. But before then, I'm just going to go ahead and strain out the water from the spices. So I'll go ahead now and strain the water off the spices. And like I said earlier, I'll be using this water for the blending process. Cause as you can see all the taste, like all the flavor, you name it, everything is being concentrated here in this water. And we're going to be blending the two separately. Like I'll first of all blend the millet and the guinea corn separate. Once I'm done, then I'll go ahead and blend the spices. I'll be blending this in two badges, so I'm just going to go ahead now, cover this up and then blend till smooth. So here comes the first batch and I'll go ahead now and repeat the same process with the remaining. 
Now that I'm done with the blending process of the guinea corn and the millet, I'll proceed to blend the dried ginger, sweet potatoes, um, clove and the germinated rice. And once that is done, we are moving over to the next step, which is pouring some hot boiled water on the blended um, guinea corn and millet. This step is just like making the Nigerian custard or pap, which is ogi. So you want to make sure that the water you are pouring is some hot boiled water. And at the same time, you want to give it a good, good stir just to make sure everything is getting cooked and mixed at the same time. So like I said earlier, it is very, very important to pour some hot boiled water over this mix because it is the hot water that will cook those um, millet and guinea corn. We're not going to be cooking this on the stove top. So that is why it is very, very important to make sure that the water you are pouring on this is um, hot boiled water. So I'm going to go ahead now and mix, mix, mix till everything is well combined. Once that step is done, scoop a bit of the guinea corn and millet mix and add to the blended spice mix and give it a good mix as well. The next step will be allowing the mix to cool down completely or for about three hours thereabouts. Then we're going to go ahead and combine the both mix together. Now that the mixtures are cool, I will go ahead and combine together. And once everything is well combined, we're going to go ahead and cover with a lid and allow to rest till the next day. And so this is the next day. And as you can see, we have a bit of fermentation going on here and this will elevate the taste of this Kono drink. But before we begin with the saving process, I'm just going to go ahead and scoop off the foam. Moving over to the sieving process, I'll be using this fine sieve, but you can also use a chiffon cloth, a cheese cloth, or even a nut milk bag. So what I like to do first is to use this fine sieve before using my chiffon cloth. That way I'm sure that my kunu is very, very smooth without any particles. With the help of a wooden spoon, I'll be sieving out the kunu and I'll repeat the process till everything is sieved out. And I'm using a wooden spoon for less manipulation. So here we have our kunu all sieved out. And at this point, you can go ahead and add any sweetener of your choice. I'm going to be adding sugar syrup, which I made earlier. And this is a combination of one cup of sugar, which I added to one cup of hot boiled water. I gave it a good, good step till all the sugar was completely dissolved. Then I set it off the heat and allowed to cool completely. At this point, I'll give this a good mix to incorporate the sugar syrup. So once you're done, you want to go ahead and bottle up the kunu and let them chill in the fridge before serving. Or you can go ahead and serve them right away with some ice cubes. This drink is so nourishing and refreshing and I really hope you give it a try. So good.
I'm gonna go ahead and serve my right away with some ice cubes because I just can't wait to drink. Like I said earlier, you can also let them chill in the fridge before serving. So thank you all so, so much for watching. If you like this video, please go ahead and click the like button and subscribe if you like what you see. And I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.